proceed with our third problem. So this third problem is quite similar with our previous example in the second problem. So just that in the second example, uh, the case B has a force and that is an, uh, a function of the distance. Right now, our case B is a force as a function of time. So again, we already, as uh, with the forces that is being shown that are acting on this block, we can already say uh, that the acceleration of case A is constant. And then the acceleration of case B is not constant. <clears throat> okay, so we have a mass that is 10 kilograms. Since there is no uh, yes, there is no coefficient of kinetic friction, there is no resisting force sayang uh, koan direction there is no frictional force then let's koan let's neglect si koan forces along y because there is no koan we don't need we don't need or we don't need to find the normal force so what uh what else is given we have determinist velocity when time is equal to two seconds if if what so we have we have a con initial boundary condition here that the time is equal to zero seconds, we're at the origin, and its velocity is, star is starting from rest, or zero. Then, at time is equal to two seconds, we need to find its velocity. Okay. This is just easy. For case A, again, don't forget to draw the FBD. There's a force acting on the side that is 300 newtons. And then we have a force here that is 500 newton. And then I'll try the 4 5 triangle. And again, acceleration is towards the right. Assumption of this acceleration towards the right. Next is we sum force along x is equal to. The mass times acceleration towards the x, and then positive and towards the right. So we have 500 cosine theta is equal, uh, minus 300 is equal to 10 times the acceleration towards x. Now, what is the theta with this one? You don't need to solve the corner, the angle in degrees. We already have a triangle. If we have a theta here and then this, we have a 3, 4, 5 in the sides, we know that the cosine theta is just the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Adjacent of our theta is 4, hypotenuse is 5. So we can directly apply that here. We have 500 times 4 over 5 minus 300 is equal to 10 times the acceleration. <clears throat> so we have here a 400. Minus 300 is equal to 10 times the acceleration, or 100 is equal to 10 times the acceleration, or A is equal to 10 meters per second squared. So it's a total assumption that the block is moving towards the right because the acceleration is positive. Next, we have the acceleration. This is a constant, uh, constant acceleration. And then we're asked to find the velocity. Matic na. Velocity is, uh, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. So the final velocity, the velocity of at uh, two seconds, initial velocity is zero. Plus you have the acceleration at 10. Time is two seconds. Then our velocity at time is equal to two seconds is equal to 20 meters per seconds. This is for case A. But if we already have our answer. Let us proceed to our uh, case B. <clears throat> for case B, if we draw the FBD, 
Automatically, we know that the force is acting only along towards the right. The acceleration is obviously towards the right. Okay, next, uh, we draw, uh, we write the force. The summation of forces along x is equal to mass times the acceleration along x. So, A lang ako ibutang, uh, not A sub x now because there's only one acceleration. There is uh, no two acceleration with this one. So, we, uh, we are safe. So, uh, summation forces along s, that is just equal to 20 T is equal to the mass, which is 10 kilograms, and acceleration. And we'll have the acceleration is equal to 2 T. So, next, so we want to know any course. This is a very easy acceleration is equal to dv over dt. Or dv is equal to a dt. So we just write that one. We have dv is equal to 2t dt. Integrate the left side from the initial velocity is 0. And then we need to find the velocity at is equal to 2 seconds. Uh, lower limit for time is 0. Upper limit is 2 seconds. So we have here v. We've evaluated from 0 to V2, V2, and then on the right side, we have T squared to be evaluated from 0 to 2 seconds. So you have V sub 2 minus 0, final velocity minus the actual velocity is equal to uh, the final time minus initial time. Or simply that our velocity or final velocity or the velocity at t is equal to 2 seconds is equal to 4 meters per second. And then you already have your answer. So uh, it's quite easy lang, no? Uh, what is added here is only the summation of forces along x, y, or z, or whatever. And then you can apply the kinematic equation which uh, you learn in the previous topics for this discussion.